Hi folks, so in this video uh, I'm going to show you how to build Boost C++ libraries and uh, we can have a quick test uh, on your successful build as well. So Boost uh, is a very powerful uh, C++ uh, libraries which I think uh, is a quite a good complementary for uh, standard C++ libraries as well. Uh, it has been uh, around for quite a while, uh, I think uh, since year 1999 or 2000 or so. So it's been well designed and developed and uh, uh, a lot of uh, libraries that's been developed in the, uh, developed and contributed in Boost has later on uh, kind of uh, paved their way to uh, C++ standard libraries as well. A few examples of those are uh, regex library, uh, the threads library, the lambda expressions and so forth. There are quite a lot. So nevertheless, uh, Boost is still very popular. You might still want to use uh, Boost C++ libraries despite the fact that C++ latest versions, uh, C++ 20, 17, 14 and C++ 11 has brought in uh, quite a lot of uh, you know new functionalities into the C++ language. So Boost is still uh, very powerful. I would recommend you uh, look into Boost uh, and, and uh, use the library in your applications as well. Um, it's licensed under Boost uh, software license, uh, very much uh, uh, allowing you to do anything with Boost. Uh, so you can have a look at it and, and, and figure it out as well. So as you can see, the latest version of Boost is version 178. Uh, but I uh, have got the 173 and 169 version downloaded. So uh, let me show you how to build uh, the version 173 in this case, uh, with few additional things that I'm gonna um, uh, kind of test uh, the Boost installation as well so let me uh, once you let's say download the, the the boost version whatever that version is you will have uh, that archive downloaded so you can extract it so uh, by the way I have also created another uh, folder named boost lib uh, on, on that particular version number it doesn't have to be that way but uh, just for the purpose of the uh, <coughs> demonstration so within that, I have created two folders that include in the lib uh, directory. This is where I'm going to uh, finally store the, all the include files and the library files that's going to get built, uh, you know, in my uh, build process. So, so let's see how to do that. So uh, I'm going to uh, store it in there or it can be anywhere in your file system. So let's, let me first go into the boost. Uh, 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 directory where uh, I have extracted my file and as you can see you will see a bootstrap.sh so which is what uh, we're going to use uh, to uh, build the boost library so I have this uh, particular command so I'm going to use uh, that with python because boost has a very nice uh, python uh, library called boost python which allows you to uh, integrate C++ with Python for example uh, you can uh, embed Python applications or Python scripts uh, within C++ uh, applications or you can use uh, C++ extensions uh, within uh, Python uh, scripts as well uh, either way around so it's a very powerful uh, tool so I'm going to use that but if you, you just build bootstrap with that uh, with or without Python uh, in place, you will get all the basic uh, boost functionalities as well. Uh, so in this build process. So before I do this, I, I'm just going to make sure the Python version that I have, the Python version that I have is Python 3.9. And I can see, uh, so you see with Python, and uh, I have given the, the, the Python binary location, which I can test if it's available here or not. Um, well, which you can see it's available and uh, so the library uh, directory again uh, I have to change this to 73 lib and the include directory 73 include and with the tool set clang uh, which because I'm running it under uh, mac os I can use that or else you can choose 
you can also omit it and, and let bootstrap uh, uh, script uh, choose it by default you can also give this additional functionality with python version just in case uh, uh, bootstrap uh, has a uh, hard time figuring out uh, what's the python version uh, that uh, we are specifying here so uh, this particular uh, you know parameters worked for me that's why i'm just uh, explaining it uh, uh, this way uh, feel free to experiment with it and uh, it should just work fine so let me go back to that and uh, let's change this to 73 which is so i'm just going one step higher which is where i had this boot boost lib 73 include and same here as well so if i do this boost uh, should do uh, you know uh, the initial bootstrap and it will recognize the tool set and uh, other functionalities as well and once it is done um, so you can see bootstrapping is done to build you can run the b2 uh, command uh, to generate header files run the b2 headers and so forth so i'm going to run the b2 so this is how boost is built uh, by default so you can see this b2 uh, is generated as well which you didn't find here uh, when you first extracted so if i just do this this is going to take some time um, you know depending on your uh, uh, processor speed machine speed uh, this can take a while maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes or uh, in, in slow machines it can even take 30 to 45 to one hour maybe so it depends i'm just gonna run this and uh, come back in a while uh, once this is done and uh, so uh, once that is done uh, we can see uh, uh, another command uh, we can execute and see uh, if those files are being stored in the location that we uh, explained and so forth okay so it happened to be completed quite faster than I expected so this is probably because uh, I uh, had uh, uh, Python uh, as uh, different functionalities and you can see from uh, this it, it seems to have only built the python specific things uh, that's again uh, not a bad thing if that's the only thing i wanted so i i happen to have uh, misread that um, so with all those things so you can also uh, see if you go into the getting started guide uh, you probably see some installation instructions and so forth here um, and uh, let's see uh, so I'll, I'll leave that part to you because anyway my focus for today is uh, running uh, a sample with a uh, boost python so you can also for example go installing or building uh, boost libraries so you should get uh, 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 enough of details here so as you can see here uh, there are build instructions uh, on uh, boost as well so you can just do this for different versions uh, easy build and install so um, so for uh, nevertheless I'm going to use this uh, to so let's go back uh, to boost 73 so I'm going to use b2 install so this is going to copy uh, a bunch of header files uh, boost specific header files to the location and the library uh, that i uh, built which is the the boost python library into the the libs directory under the boost lib 73 as well so now the build uh, uh, the copying process uh, seems to be done now we can go back to the boost lib 73 directory and see what is in there um, so 73 go to the includes directory you see a boost uh, folder so once you go in that you see all the boost specific header files 
uh, boost is mostly a uh, header only uh, library but there are situations where you might still need the libraries uh, the dot the so or dot a static or dynamic libraries uh, that are needed so let's go back to our lib directory as you can see uh, only the boost python uh, library was generated uh, so this is because uh, we just asked only for that so okay let's uh, see an example of using boost python before we go into that so let's also see why only that python library was generated so so this uh, was the command that i used to uh, generate it but uh, as you can see i specify this with libraries python so this is the flag that made only python uh, uh, generated if i had used all it would have generated everything so uh, or maybe if you had skipped it also uh, it would have worked so let's see that uh, in action as well so uh, it's no harm in experimenting with it so uh, let's uh, use this again and uh, and 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 run the the v2 command obviously this time i expect this to run uh, for some time as i mentioned previously so i'll come back once this is done so build is done so this time it did take some time and obviously uh, uh, it took around uh, seven to eight minutes in my machine so let's uh, get it uh, installed once again and uh, we'll see what happens like uh, all the copy is done so now let's go back to our boost lib 73 and look at the include and of course with the boost uh, all the header files should be there what makes the difference is this link if i now look at this you should find all the uh, the dynamic limbs and the uh, um, uh, static libraries for other uh, files as well uh, including for the python one which uh, we wanted to build as well so now let's uh, look at a sample with booster uh, to make sure that our build is working next up uh, i'm gonna just write a quick program uh, obviously with boost python uh, which uh, will embed uh, python uh, within a c++ program and uh, you will be able to run a Python script within C++ and, and that's what I'm gonna do uh, so let me uh, in, in, the, in the same folder uh, that I had I'm just gonna use this name embed.cpp and I have this uh, file already in place and uh, let me save it um, it doesn't do anything magic here it basically includes the boost Python and uh, using namespace boost Python and uh, in the main uh, uh, function uh, you have this uh, try catch block with pi initialize and then we uh, uh, some boilerplate here and, and this is how it works in boost python so boost python documentation for embedding uh, you'll be able to see that and then uh, uh, you can also uh, run the print hello world uh, that's how you will run a uh, or print a hello world in python right so pi run underscore string uh, will be executed and it should get printed in the uh, uh, the console so let's build this uh, application now so to build this uh, simply uh, i need to use this so i'm gonna uh, output embed embed.cpp i need to provide uh, an input directory uh, which is my booster uh, seven three include directory where i placed all my booster include files and also a library directory uh, which states the lib directory of the boost 73 and i also need to give the python 3.9 uh, directory as well so because this is a, a boost python uh, we need to include or uh, provide this linker flag boost underscore python 39 uh, which is our um, lib boost uh, uh, python 39 library and also we need to provide the python 3.9 so the relevant version that you provided as well so once you do this thing it should build and have 
uh, this executable printer so don't worry about these warnings and but if you're really interested you can just dig deep and find out why why, why this warning is coming up um, and of course I'm building this with G++ so uh, let me try to run this now so embed and uh, obviously I'm getting a an error because probably my libboost pipe or lib is not identifiable by the uh, uh, the the library loader. So one way to mitigate this is to have uh, uh, or export my ld library path. Uh, so there are a couple of ways to do that, but I'm I'm gonna use the the easiest uh, for the time being, and uh, use my boost library directory as one of the options there. Uh, possibly I can see if there is already anything in that not I'm safe to uh, do it yeah it's nothing in there so I'm gonna say export this here so now it should uh, see it in place as you guessed uh, so we can see the hello world uh, print coming out so that's it guys uh, for today uh, we, we looked at how to build uh, boost and especially boost Python and then we also looked at uh, what are the nuances in building uh, the boost uh, libraries and we looked at uh, testing our boost library uh, with embedding Python in our C++ program hope this uh, uh, was useful for you and uh, I'll uh, uh, see you in another video very soon. Thank you for watching.